Welcome to the third video of a playthrough of World at War. So the Allies are the first player for these 1942 and 43 years. So I need to choose my actions. We are in the action phase. <coughs> right now I have a advantage in Britain and France and Pacific, while the Axis holds Central Europe, Eastern Front, and North Africa. So let's see how I can take back this uh, into my hands. <coughs> so really good navy, really lousy air force and army right now. Not much in industry and oil. So I'm thinking I need to build up uh, first. So looking here, uh, probably want to do this one. So these these will be the actions for for the first turn. I'm gonna do the bottom part, recruitment and industry. So for the recruitment, I'm gonna increase my air force to two, my army to three, and then I also can use my industry. I will spend one industry down to two. To increase my army to four so this will be my army and navy battles mostly in these years all right now we go to the axis player he will of course spend one oil to do both of the upper actions so he can do upgrade either one of his units or random uh, he will do units, he will set his air force to 4 and then he can also do, since he spends an oil <coughs> reserves, uh, he can also do the bottom one so he will recruit so he will build his army and he will set also his navy alright now I'm gonna take this and choose where to put my dominance uh, I'm gonna, well this is not that good, I'm gonna go here, every time you win a navy conflict, increase your army strength by plus one, and my navy is pretty good. And now we're gonna have two battles, as you can see we, I need to in instigate two battles, so I'm thinking uh, one should probably be in North Africa. I'm going to attack with the navy there. Uh, that's a 7 against a 6. So the axe player will reroll. And he gets 7, so we are even. I really wish, I w really want to win this. So I'm also going to spend one oil to reroll mine. Come on, big number. Oh damn, I got a 6. It's a 6 against 7. So I'm gonna lose the conflict in North Africa, sadly. Axis will keep the advantage, and by the way, they have a plus 1 because of their advantage, so they were already on 8, basically. Oh damn. So this goes to 4, this goes to 2. Well, I'm gonna fight in Britain. Actually, no. I already have advantage there. Well, I, I have to use my army then. Let's try Central Europe with my army. So second battle. Oh, six. He already has a plus one there. Also six. With the plus one, he's winning by seven. Alright, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reroll. So the axe is gonna keep the Central Europe advantage. This goes down to three, this goes down to three. Alright, Axis player now uh, upkeep phase. Uh, allies hold two, I have enough national strength to hold it. Axis holds three and they also have enough national strength to hold it 
we go to axis and choosing actions for them uh, axis will actually go here so we'll have two battles and they will use the bottom part they will increase their national strength two times seven to eight and then we're gonna have two battles well I still can do one of these actions I'm not gonna use my old supply I need to keep them right for now so I'm just gonna do oh you know what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do uh, this one here this uh, sabotage I'm not gonna lower anything on him I am actually gonna use this one this is a resistance so I'm gonna spend one of my national strength to sway one of the his advantages to neutral so he's gonna lose advantage here because last time I have the problem so resistance on Eastern Front because he went here and had oil reserves constantly on four so let's try to cut his oil all right so axis player now will take this and decide where to place his dominance uh, well he's gonna try the same thing keep his oil up which means he's gonna fight there with his air force first battle he's got a four so that's eight so even if I roll a six I can't beat him so I just lose there he gets the dominance there if you have advantage of this map your reserves can't go lower than four so well here's a problem he already spent his oil reserves so he needs to build them back to four uh, okay let me see second battle oh by the way we take casualties so that was Air Force so. I guess he can go with the army he can attack me maybe in the Pacific but can he keep that advantage one two three four yeah he can or maybe in Britain all right he's gonna actually go to the Pacific so it's an army battle that's a six against my seven plus one that's eight uh, he's gonna reroll so what does he need? 8 he needs 5 or 6 to e even even to even out or beat me alright so that's still 7 against my 8 I keep my advantage there so casualties down to 2 alright my turn to take some uh, actions What do I want to do? I probably want to go here. Maybe here. Yes, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna use the top part. So bomb raid and increase my national strength. So for the bomb raid, I can either attack his industry or national strength or just roll. I want to keep his national strength down so he can't have like he can't keep four advantages 
so I'm gonna do that and then uh, after that uh, I'm gonna increase my national strength to 8 okay now he can spend an oil and do both of the bottom actions but he will not do that he will just use upgrade uh, and he will upgrade his air force to 4 Now I choose dominance and then we're gonna have one battle. So let's see. Mm. Let's try this one. and a battle will be fought here with the navy on North Africa he has a plus one because he's holding advantage there but let's see ooh that's a 10 so even if he gets a plus one he can't roll better than me so I will take this advantage here and we will suffer casualties and it says every time you win a navy conflict increase your army by one bam and every time you take advantage on this map increase your national strength by one i go to nine so at least i'm beating him with the national strength now why is this important well in the final uh, if we have like uh, in the final closure if we have like uh, same amount of advantages on this map uh, national strength this will be the thing that will tie break a tie first then you check your in oil reserves then you check your industry so those are tie breakers so if I keep my national strength really high and he will not be able to keep advantage basically I can I can still win this all right that was one battle we had it is the axis turn to choose actions oh by the way upkeep uh, I I hold three more than enough national strength to hold it he holds two also more than enough to hold it so the axis player will go let's see He will go here and he will take these two industry action spend one industry increase his army Sp uh, spend another industry increase his air force so his air force is now five mm, pretty good uh, I can spend oil but that's not gonna give me anything because if I spend oil and get oil I still use only one action from here I guess I'm gonna bomb him again uh, but I'm gonna do random how should I lower his national strength or in this no I'm gonna do random bombing great four uh, that's industry goes down to two all right and now he takes the dominance and then we're gonna have three battles So dominance uh, you want to go here every time you win an air force Victor you can increase one of your units tank by plus one and now three battles uh, he will attack on the Pacific with air force I do have a plus one but he has a five so it's not gonna help me much well depending on the roll actually let's see oh that's a 10 even if I reroll I can't beat that so yeah he will take advantage here we take casualties down to four my air force is gone Oops. Uh, my air force is gone 
and it says every time you win an air force victory you can increase one of unit strength by plus one he will increase his army to four all right and uh, second battle well let's see axis one two three well he can't keep the upkeep anyway So I guess he can only fight to lower my 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 strength. So and take my advantage at least. I mean he, he will not be able to keep it but he can take it. So he will do uh army battle. Actually he's gonna do air force battle in North Africa. Okay air force battle in north africa seven against my <laughs> one <laughs> even with the reroll i can't beat him uh, well i can even out may maybe if i get a six but i'm not gonna do that so take some casualties this goes to he to him okay he will not keep it but at least he will take it away from me and lastly Oh, that was another Air Force victory, so he's, he can increase direct on one unit. Uh, he will increase his Air Force back <laughs> to four. <laughs> and then he can do also Air Force attack on Britain and France. Yeah. Six. Uh, if, I get a, if I get a six, I can even beat that. No, I got the nine. Uh, I'm not gonna reroll. So he's gonna take advantage here. Another Air Force victory. So he lose one. He can get back back it up again. But he's actually gonna increase his navy right now. All right. And then we check the upkeep. Uh, I don't hold nothing. So nothing. He holds one, two, three, four, five. All of the map. But he doesn't have enough national strength to hold it he can hold three of those so two of them will be moved to move to neutral so i guess he will move here to neutral and he will move here to neutral leaving central europe and britain to me okay my action phase I'm losing this war <laughs> as an ally. I'm losing this war. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go here. So, and I'm gonna do a top part. So, increase my industry. Actually, use my industry. I'm gonna use my industry. Go down to one, increase my navy to four. And you're gonna use recruitment to get my army to four and put an air force at least on one all right <coughs> he can uh, spend an oil to do both of these but doesn't really matter because he spent an oil loads also <coughs> he will only do bombardment sorry and he's gonna bomb my industry bam so i don't have industry anymore Oof. okay really low in all but he's low too all right dominance phase um, let's go here actually i know let's go here no let's go here if i win an army i can increase my industry so i only have one battle I want to uh, attack with an army yeah I want to attack in the, in the army in the central Europe no one has advantage there so let's see a five against his nine I can't spend an oil okay so he actually takes the advantage here
all right upkeep phase uh one two three four he can't keep all of them so it goes back to neutral i can so that's it and our last actions here for the axis choosing first uh he will take the top one so he will increase his oil reserves to three and he will bomb me now he can attack my well my industry already destroyed so he can attack my national strength but he's actually gonna roll do a random because if he gets a five and destroy my oil reserves uh, war is over for me so let's see will the axis pull this off okay one so i just lose uh, one army uh, it goes down to three uh, and now I can do one of these two actions I'm gonna do uh, sabotage and uh, what do I want to sabotage well let's see let's see what will be sabotaged six his national strength goes down to six okay and now two battles and dominance uh, you'll go here and uh, first battle will be his army against his army here in Britain and France oh that's a 10 uh, I can't beat that even with the reroll so he takes the advantage and on going if you win a conflict on this mark increase your national strength and that's it second battle will be with his air force he will attack with his air force in Central Europe I can't beat that there is no way because I have only one so he will take advantage here and it says every time you win Air Force victory you can increase one of your unit strength by plus one he will increase his Navy to three okay And that is that that is the end of 1942 and the 1943 let's see the upkeep axis holds one two three four five <laughs> I can only hold four because no he can only hold six of them so I guess he will lose advantage let's say in North Africa and maybe in Britain and France we get our little cubes back And uh, let me remove this. We build up back, so plus one to everything except the national strength. So this goes to four, two, five, one, uh, two. This goes to five, four, four, three, four. Oh my God! the next year will be really bad for for allies I can always already see it all right so I'm just gonna flip this like this 1944 to 1945 the last year on the of the conflict and axis has advantage almost everywhere almost everywhere not good for the allies so can I turn this into a victory I I'm not so sure <laughs> it is possible as you can see there are lost le lost less battles well there are some huge ones but <coughs> there are some actions are completely different this will be really interesting anyway let's roll to see who's gonna have a first I roll a five axis roll the six oh axis gonna be first to choose and that's it for this video playthrough 
in the next one we're gonna have the resolution who will win axis or allies well looking like this well <laughs> probably axis if this keeps like this anyway see you next time and thanks for watching goodbye